Hey guys, welcome back to Nerds and Nutrition and welcome to this channel if you're new. My name is Leslie and today I want to welcome you guys to a grocery haul. It has been a very long time since I did my last grocery haul and a few things have changed. Uh, namely, a gorilla has moved in with me, um, hence all the bananas. <laughs> so let's get into it. I just want to give you guys a rundown on what it's like to shop vegan for two people. All right, let's start with the obvious, bananas. Um, every week, my boyfriend buys a 40 pound box of bananas. Um, again, he's Donkey Kong. So uh, we already assimilated the bananas into Banana Island, their natural habitat. Um, so that was the biggest part of our purchase. Um, everything in total, uh, we spent about $70 worth. Um, so two people to eat a whole foods plant-based diet for a week at a time, $70, pretty cost effective. So first we buy a ton of frozen vegetables. The first thing that we got was um, six blocks of this uh, frozen spinach. And the frozen spinach we can use in our smoothies. We also cook it down into like potato and vegetable dishes for dinner. Um, so a ton of spinach. Also got two bags of the steamable broccoli florets. Um, these go great in those potato dishes. Same with like the California medley vegetables. Um, we got what, five, six bags of the California medley. Uh, more frozen stuff, corn. Um, I definitely want to start making some more uh, veggie chilies and some vegetable soups and frozen corn is just great to keep on hand. Next up, we have some fresh okra. Uh, we've been having this okra dish at this Indian restaurant which is absolutely delicious. So. We decided that we wanted to try and cook with okra ourselves. Um, we do like to make some Indian curries every once in a while, so fresh okra uh, is ours. Also got some mushrooms and a couple avocados. Can't go wrong with avocado. Um, usually we'll make like uh, some kind of Mexican salad and dice this up, or sometimes we'll make a big salad and throw in like avocado, celery, and some green onions and make an incredible incredible avocado dressing. Uh, also got tricolored peppers uh, because who doesn't like peppers? We'll throw that in our salads. And then we have some uh, beefsteak tomatoes. What a hell of a name for tomatoes, right? Am, am I right? <laughs> Big ass bag of bean sprouts. I mean, guys, check this out. It is, it is humongous. I think it weighs as much as my head does. Like, I don't even know two pounds of sprouts for $1.96. So we got this at our local um, like Asian market. Very awesome. Two bags of romaine lettuce. Um, so on our uh, meal plan for this week, we're going to be making at least two big salads and we have been averaging three heads of romaine every salad. You know, So between the two of us, we eat all the plants. Four cucumbers, um, these will be great in salads, and then if we also make hummus throughout the week, then we can have that for our hummus. And then uh, we have a ton of dried black beans and kidney beans and a ton of lentils, but we needed some kind of white bean, and you know, my body has to be difficult, and I have a sensitivity to navy and pinto beans, so we decided to try some great northern beans. And so I will uh, soak these overnight. We'll throw them in the Instant Pot and cook them. And then we get to use those in a really awesome vegetable soup. <sighs> Two bags of oranges. Um, we have been snacking on oranges throughout the week. They're just a delicious snack. Um, I like to bring those to work. Uh, and hey, colds are running around lately, so it doesn't hurt to get some extra vitamin C. Just saying bag of apples again really great to just snack on and then the biggest Japanese sweet potato ever like I mean it is just humongous um, this we really just wanted to try I've had the Japanese sweet potatoes before they're delicious like super sweet um, but yeah just like really awesome big bag of red skin potatoes this will be great for dinner 
And then uh, I also wanted to start making more stuff with sweet potatoes. So we got a bag of sweet potatoes. Um, we're actually going to be making these like portobello stuffed mushrooms with quinoa and kale and sweet potatoes. It just looks phenomenal. Cannot wait. Super excited. And last, there's just a couple items that we typically don't get, but hey, we're human. Um, we really wanted to try a dragon fruit. I have never tried a dragon fruit before. This thing was like $6, crazy expensive, but obviously not a staple in our diet. We figured we could try it. Um, again, because we're human, and this isn't anything bad, guys, let's be real. Who doesn't love some coconut water so we each got a can for ourselves and then uh, Josh's little girls are super picky eaters but they do love waffles and these blueberry waffles from Whole Foods just so happen to be vegan so uh, yeah so that is the grocery haul for today guys do keep in mind that we already have certain items that are just like stock items in our pantry like a lot of nuts and seeds and uh, like our quinoa and whole grains so those are items that we don't have to typically purchase every single week but whenever we do we get them in bulk they're usually pretty cost effective but at least this will give you an idea of how to shop for two people on a whole foods plant-based diet let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about anything that we got today for our grocery haul I'd be more than happy to talk to you about what we do with these ingredients so that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this grocery haul. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to this channel if you're not already a fellow nerd. Take care of yourselves, guys, and remember, we are changing culture one plate at a time. Until next time.